This construction site is the future home of Springdale School of Innovation, which is temporarily housed in the Jones Community Center. No matter the location, this school is providing students insight into exciting and promising careers. The School of Innovation opened in the fall of 2014. It currently serves students in grades 8 and 9 and will add a grade each year. By the 2018-19 school year, plans call for the school to serve 2,000 students in grades 8 through 12. We started the school by asking questions like, what if? What would we do if we could go back and reinvent education for our kids, for today's kids? We understood they don't learn the same way that maybe you or I did. Students today need to be active, they need to be engaged in what they're doing, they need to have options. They need to have some voice in where they take their education. The school has a strong emphasis on STEM education. Students work at their own pace and have the flexibility that best suits their interests and learning styles. Project-based learning allows students to demonstrate content mastery. Also, students can take college-level classes and earn an associate's degree or if they choose, earn industry-level certification. We gave students the ability, flexibility of time. We started there. Not all students need the same amount of time for each class. We gave students the opportunity to take classes home. If they chose to learn those late at night, we can do that. If they chose to spend some time with their teachers face-to-face, -face, we have that option also. We took away the time barrier so that students could push through classes when they wanted to. I came in in August as an eighth grader and just at the turn of this semester I became a ninth grader and so now I'm getting to progress in my studies at my pace. I'd say you get, it's, you're way more focused here. It's fo you're way more focused on what you're doing and that in eight periods you would get done a bunch of little stuff but here in four periods you get done way more stuff which is a big difference for me. Thinking outside the box is so important and giving the students voice and choice. The, the computers are lovely to have, you know, but not letting the kids hide behind the technology that some days we use it, some days we don't. All of our kids are going to have an internship experience before they leave. It helps them make decisions about this is really what I want to do, or maybe more importantly it's not what I want to do. We do that through pacing at school. We do it through the opportunity to get out with business and industry professionals on a regular basis and make those decisions about a career. We got an internship with a local boutique here and we basically got to be completely emerged into fashion merchandising and seeing what it's like to own, to run, and to work in a store. My experience has been unlike anything I would have ever imagined. Um, I've uh, discovered so many things about myself. I've discovered a love for filmmaking discovered a love for politics. Um, I found, I think, my career choice, which would be in business. We went and looked at places like Google headquarters, Apple headquarters. We wanted to see what the most innovative minds in the country were looking for in terms of workspace, because that's what we're trying to prepare our kids for. You're going to see a lot of open space, a lot of opportunity for kids to be social, to work together. Learning makes noise. Learning makes a mess. Learning involves multiple people, multiple teachers coming together for a project. So you'll see large spaces. You'll also start to see some smaller spaces because we understand teachers need to pull out small groups of students to do some content work, some follow-up, some insurance that students are learning the content. It's about the students. It's not about the numbers. It's not about the test scores at the end of the year. It's about what do the students need and how are they going to get it.